Just doing the usual rounds this morning. Going round greenhouses, checking on plants. This cauliflower is coming on really well. It's still getting chewed a bit though. Same with this one. It seems there's not much that stops slugs and snails. But they have got new leaves growing so it should be alright. This one's not even been touched at all. And that Savoy cabbage seems to be coming on okay. And these red cabbage have started to put a bit of size on there. They were tiny when we put them in just over a week ago. And that's that mustard plant that we put in. It was quite small as well when we put it in. But now we've put it in ground, it started to put on all this fresh growth. So I'm quite pleased with that. I've also noticed these peppers as well. If you remember, we cut all these plants back to nothing. So we could take them in eventually and overwinter them. And since I've cut them back, all this new growth's appeared. They're already trying to regrow. So it just proves that even when you cut them back that much, they're very resilient. This plant seems to be doing okay as well. Got a good size to it. But we tend to wrap these up with fleece before we get any frosts. But it's really put some good size on over the last few months. That young T-Rex plant on the other hand is now starting to die back. So all these leaves that's been growing are all going to start to rot and just basically fall off. So I might as well take them off for them. That's how easy they're just going to come off. It's still trying to put growth on, on top. But that was that baby plant that were propagated from the big one in the garden. And for its first year, it's doing really well. We just need to keep all these weeds at bay. But basically what happens with these plants is, every single leaf on this will die back and fall off. And you'll just be left with that stem up to there which is perfectly normal and then it'll just go dormant through winter and even though these are tropical plants they can survive temperatures of minus 30 which is pretty amazing and then next spring it'll start putting out all brand new branches from the top and then get bigger through year. Looks like winds blowing over these kale plants as well. So I'll have to restate them, and get them tied up. Still growing really well though. This made me laugh when I saw it this morning. It's a Brussels plant that we ripped up because all the leaves were really damaged and they were dying back. And it's just been laid in this bin liner, waiting to go to garbage. And it started growing baby Brussels. Which is crazy. I don't think I'd eat them though. Those tomato plants that were ripped out at ground weeks ago and just left outside, leant up against this fence. I still keep finding the odd tomato that's ripened. So, it's nice and firm. 
and I'll take what I can get this time of year. And that's that mother plant for that T-Rex where we're just looking at it greenhouse. It's put on some really good size this year. Massive leaves on them. Look really good. And this one's a more established plant, so it's not started to die back yet. But as soon as we get frosts, it will. So, we're back in garden and greenhouse once again. I've just finished doing a video for a cooking channel. And this one's homemade scones. Really tasty. Because we're trying to put together a collection of party type foods. As we start and approach Christmas. Well, that might be something else you're interested in and I'll leave a link in the description for a cooking channel so you can go there and take a look but for the moment we're back out here and we need to check over some of these plants and see what kind of progress they're making so now we're back in main greenhouse where we've got all this Chinese cabbages and everything still keep getting the odd problem with aphids but we give them a blast with that homemade pesticide and that sun sorts them out. But they're putting good size on there. And so is those red cabbages. So some of these can go into that other greenhouse soon. We'll get them planted out. And I think I'll put one in a container as well. See how that gets on. So we'll basically then have a cabbage, a cauliflower and a red cabbage in containers along with Chinese cabbage to see how they get on through winter. Parsnips have actually come on quite a bit since we last saw them. Doing quite well. The odd one that's fallen over, but we just firm that down around the edge until that stem thickens and then it'll hold itself up. But they're doing all right. And so is those carrots, they're starting to really fill out now. So we should be getting some carrots in a few months time. And obviously those broad beans that we replanted, we just uncovered the tips of them. And that was only yesterday and overnight they've shot up. So just repotting them made all the difference. And that spinach that we moved on as well has now started to grow true leaves. So this is doing really well. You're better off growing spinach when temperatures are cooler anyway. Stops it bolting that way. And we better think about pricking some of these out as well. These are lettuces, so we can move if you want. Container cauliflower. Nice big container we've put that in. It's doing really well. And thankfully, no slug damage. Which is the difference between growing them in containers off at ground and then planting them in greenhouses in ground. We can just offer them that little bit more protection. We've got beetroot coming through, multi sown as well. Looking really well. There's a couple of cells where there isn't anything. I'm not sure if they've just died back or something's eaten them. But either way, we've still got 12 lots of multi-sown beetroot that we're going to be moving on quite soon. And more red cabbages that are actually looking really healthy. We'll get something done with those of it next week. Especially since we've got a couple of trays of those. It's definitely time for these to come out. And those spring onions that I've shown you, they basically just broke the surface last week and now they're all up and on the way. And finally, those regular bull bunions have started coming up. The odd cell where we, it looks like nothing's happening. But there's still plenty to go out there because we actually multi sowed So there's about four bulbing onions in each cell and we're going to move them into containers and then grow them into medium-sized onions, all in a big bunch. 
and yet more spinach looking really good so I think we might move that into a container and try and grow a big bunch of spinach all together another Chinese cabbage that we put in this small container that's doing really good no damage to it healthy looking plant and so are these we can start taking harvest from these if we want just cutting off the leaves but I might let these grow on a bit and that's the pak choy and there's some more savoy cabbages that we've moved on as well into containers I think they might need a bit of water but they're still looking really healthy so that's all that matters we have had a little muncher on this one I'll just take that leaf away. Got to keep your eye on some of these plants, especially these lower leaves, they need taking off. It just encourages slugs. So any low leaves are best being removed, like those there. I'll just pinch these off and get rid that one we've already done I'll take that stem away though carrots are all looking really well I'm gonna let them grow on for a bit longer though before we start thinning them out because they're definitely gonna need thinning out they're just a bit too close together at the moment but we can soon sort that out and again could do with a bit of a water well it may be coming up to mid-november now but as you've just seen we've still got lots of things on go and these plants are looking really healthy considering that at the moment when we get up in the morning and come into the garden around 7 30 8 o'clock it's very cold but we have got that extra protection at this bubble wrap on greenhouse and as it drops colder and colder, we'll start and put bubble wrap around the tubs just to give them that little bit of extra help. But for the moment, everything seems to be taking care of itself. We have got plants in other greenhouse, in ground, and the odd one has fallen victim to a little monsha. But pretty much all of them are still looking really healthy, so that's encouraging. And all we did with those is surround the bottom of those plants with some bark. And then we've got other plants that are now starting to drop completely back, ready to go dormant for winter. But they're still very hardy plants that will bounce back into life come spring and put on even more size throughout the year. And the pepper plants that we've cut really back are now trying to regrow. And it's probably because at certain points during this year, the temperature has been quite mild although now it is really starting to drop down but it's not going to be that long before we start and get hit with frosts and things like peppers won't survive frosts it will kill the plant completely so they'll be getting moved indoors and we'll carry on sowing and growing as much as we possibly can and hopefully drag it right out into early spring thanks very much for watching this video always appreciate it and if you want to see what other things we're sowing and growing over the next couple of months then just hit that subscribe button press that notifications bell and we'll see you on next upload meanwhile i've got a few bits and bobs that need watering take care